makes it easier as they got older. And let me ask you, bro, because when, when it comes to having kids, man, I mean, what are they in sports right now? What, what is it that they're doing that, you know, they kind of look up to you and be like, man, I mean, I want to be active and I want to do what that's doing kind of thing? Yeah. Well, they do football. And uh, my older day, he does boxing. Okay, wow. And, and how, as a parent, man, how would you feel, man? If your, your son grows up and he's like, hey, dad, I want to pursue combat sports, man. I mean, would you kind of be like, all right, cool, or? I'll keep them away from it. I'll tell them not to do it. But if they want to do it, I'm going to support them 100% and make sure they don't make the same mistakes I did. And no, sure no. They're training really good. Yeah, you see, and I mean, back when, when I met you, man, I mean, you were, and you still are, dude. I mean, you back then, you had momentum. You you actually had a title, you know, for uh, STFC. And I mean, I'm sure life happened and things happened, but I mean, that's kind of like where where um, you started taking fights kind of last minute, kind of, you know, and, and you started taking a couple of L's, man. So, I mean, what was the reason for that? Was it the training, the timing, work? Everything, like, it, I just, honestly, I wasn't mentally there to just, I wasn't focusing well. I had a lot of things going on, and I just thought, like, hey, let me just fight and give me some money, and you no, know, we're no training, so. A lot of the fights, I would just take it. With, I wouldn't train at all. I just go with talent. And, and now these days, you can't just go with that. You got to train. Oh, yeah, bro. I mean, you got you got young, you know, younger guys that are working, yeah, you know, training. They're hungry. They're good. <laughs> and like you said, your opponent, you don't know much about him, man. But the guy is from Brazil. I mean, you, you guys are uh, meeting up in uh, Louisiana. Yes. Now, when it comes to training i mean what is it that you do more of i mean without giving your game plan is i mean do you feel like i'm good at grappling let me do more striking or vice versa i don't think I, i'm comfortable everywhere but i'm trying to just push my conditioning that's where yeah. i'm always lacking condition so that's what i'm trying to work on the conditioning part if i can push that i can compete anywhere and and like you said, man, I mean, this fight with uh, Fury FC, man, is it a one-fight deal, or did you actually sign up for a contract? It was a four-fight contract, but okay. we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, cool, man. Now, um, yeah. Louisiana, bro, because I know they have a fight. Was it the timing? Because I know they're fighting in Houston. They're usually, they just happen here in San Antonio. Was Louisiana yeah. great? No, well, uh, it, it was more of, like, I have more time, like, because he, uh, Eric wanted me to fight in San Antonio in June, in the beginning of June. But I was like, no, I can't. Like, that's too soon still. Like, give me more time to prepare and who I'm fighting so I know how to prepare. Like, I just don't want to take a fight just like that anymore. I want to focus and get a uh, good schedule on and a fight on it. No, for sure, man. Because even from the beginning, like I said, dude, because, I mean, when I first saw you fight... I mean, you were a complete fighter. I mean, I saw you, and I was like, man, this guy's a mixed martial artist, man. And, I mean, we worked together in a few uh, – I think two two of your fights we worked together. And, um, and uh, I mean, I did it for, for the fact that I actually believe in you, man. I mean, you were you, you were on it, man. Like you said, it's just your conditioning when it came to uh, – for fights, you know. You, you weren't ready uh, – your, your condition wasn't ready for some of these fights. So, of course, you know, it, that it showed, you know, the end result, but – I mean, now with your your cardio on point, man. I mean, are you still what kind of what kind of drills are you doing for cardio, man? What are you doing? What do you what workouts? Uh, a lot more running. <laughs> I hate <laughs> running, but yeah, that's a lot, a lot more more running and a lot more grappling because for me, the grappling part is more ca cardio wise than the striking part. So right. I try and grapple a lot more and push my pace. Man, and training with uh, Johnny Bedford. I mean, the guys out there in BKFC. I mean. Going against, uh, have you have you rode with the guy? I mean, have you have have you guys trained together to where you're like, okay, it kind of motivates you a little bit? I haven't rode with him lately because he's always uh, coaching and all that. And then if he's getting ready for a fight, he does other things. But I've been rolling a lot of all the other guys, and they're all really good in the ground and they're well rounded. So I'm blessed to have a good teammate. No, yeah, man. And like you said earlier, man, because uh, when you moved to Iowa um, in high school, did you wrestle in high school or was just in yeah, college? I wrestled in high school for two years, then uh, I got scholarship to go wrestle in college. Okay. 
And I mean, before that, what, what were you doing? What kind of, uh, were you involved in sports or what was going football on? And basketball. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And is that, kind of, I mean, your son, is he doing that because of you or did he just kind of pick that up on his own? Yeah, he picked it on his own. He's, he's just a, na a natural athlete on that. So I was like, go for it. And, and how how is he doing, man? I mean, what, as far as uh, training and everything, is he kind of does he like the training part, or is he having fun with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves it. He wants to keep doing it and keep. Uh, he wants to start competing. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm still kind of nervous about it, but that also helped that. And his side of or his mom's side, or uh, she had brothers that were boxers, so that helps a lot. Oh, nice, man. Well, definitely, bro. Now, let, let me ask you, man. I mean, this fight, like we said, it's going to be uh, next month, you know, June 26, uh, Louisiana. I know earlier you were getting uh, some of the paperwork. What were you getting done? You were running around earlier? Oh, I was for my insurance, for my truck. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, did, I did the paperwork uh, last week for all my physical and all that. I got everything done, ready to go. Oh, okay, okay. so you didn't, you didn't want to wait up on that, right? You don't want to be like yeah. the last one. Like, yeah, right. I, I, because it's always stressful. So I try to get everything. I got everything out of the, out of the way already. No, oh, nice, man. Well, hopefully people reading this will, will kind of, you know, start doing that too, man. Because I know some of the fighters wait till the last week and then they don't need, they don't even get to fight, bro, because they forgot something. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's a shame. But, but yeah, man, but I mean, everything's ready. Everything's good. Um, as far as uh, no injuries right now, I mean, your training's on point. Everything's good? Mm-hmm. Everything's good. I feel great. Uh, I, feel, I should be 100% coming into this fight. We bro, and I, I gotta say, man, I know you were busy, man, because you haven't posted any memes in a, in like two days, bro. So I <laughs> said, oh, you, bro. Yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but let me ask you, because I mean, I know I post them because I like to look back and laugh at this stuff, man. But is that kind of would you say that's a therapy these days? Is to put crap up and just laugh about it? I mean, I know. Some people uh, I'm I'm a guy that just I like to have a good time and just enjoy myself and not. Stress, not being angry all the time, and just laugh and make other people laugh. Because yeah. that's why I am in person too. Yeah, I'm with you, man. Because I know, uh, I mean, life's too serious, dude. It's just like, I mean, we we all pay bills and we all gotta go to work, but it's just like on on, the, on our free time, I wanna I wanna you know shits and giggles, man. I wanna laugh about yeah. stuff, man. <laughs> but ask you, bro, uh, one thing that isn't funny, man. Unfortunately, I mean, yesterday, um, the whole uh, shooting in Uvalde, man. I mean, yeah. there was a murder. I mean, it was just freaking unbelievable, man. Um, a lot of people died, did innocent kids, and you know, everybody's uh, been talking about it, of course. I mean, I was actually on uh, 90 East coming back from uh, Hondo when I saw the cops heading out there, man. So it kind of, I didn't, you know, when I, when I realized what happened, I was like, man, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, I mean, you have kids, I have kids, and it's just something that we don't want to see. But I mean, what, what would you say, I mean, as, as, you know, as a country, as a nation, man, what should we start doing, man? Should we start like, Putting police out there, man. I know some some uh, schools already do, yeah. but yeah, we should have more security. Yeah, honestly, and definitely for the uh, younger kids that like, they had, they, they didn't know what was, what was happening, and it's sad. Like their little boys, uh, their little kids, they can't defend themselves. Like, and at least a, a teenager could. No, no, definitely, man. Because I know, I mean, I still don't even know the whole story. I know they were talking about the uh, the kid having issues and everything, and everybody, um, all that other mess, man. Unfortunately, but uh. You know, my condolences to to all the uh, the victims and their families, of course, man. I mean, it's a very hard. It hurt. You know, it's one of those things that, that is it's like you want to hear about. But um, but man, um, as far as training, bro. I mean, you're you're gonna go out there June 26. Um, uh, you know, is there anybody helping you for this, man? You have sponsors for this fight? No, uh, I'm still getting some more sponsors. So I can make my shirts and I have a Coyote shirts out there again. Uh, I'm getting more sponsors. <laughs> No, definitely, man. And I'll, you know, when that comes, I'll post it on the page and all, man. But I do appreciate you, bro. I mean, I know it's, you know, your time's, uh, time's in essence right now. I know you're busy, and um, I'll let you go so you can start putting up, putting up some memes before we go to sleep tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I appreciate it. Yeah, but I'm definitely hyped about this, dude. I, I'm looking forward to you stepping back in there. Like I said, I've been a fan, you know, from when, from when I, we first met and until now, man. So I'm looking, I'm rooting for you, man. Uh, best of luck, but uh, is there anything, anybody you want to thank before we uh, wrap this up? My kids. So, if, because of them, I'm back in here and doing this again. I want to make them proud. 
No, for sure, man. I mean, like I said, dude, I mean, I'm sure your friends and family are going to be watching, man, and I'm going to be watching as well. Um, do you know if you're on the uh, UFC Fight Pass uh, portion of the card? I don't know anything about it. I'm just, just told me whatever UFC Fight Pass, Fury, I'm down. Like, I'll fight. I don't care. <laughs> no, 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 for sure. And the thing with Fury FC, for those watching, uh, the prelims, they usually post them on their Facebook page. Um, the main card, of course, it goes on the UFC Fight Pass. So if it is, either way, I'll be watching. But um, I want to thank you, bro. Don't hang up yet. Sure. Uh, everybody out there, of course, have you obrigado. Spider the Fight Card Podcast. Till next time, follow up.